Sometimes pediatricians refer you a patient because they're complaining the heart is constantly racing and, and they have a little bit of discomfort and you see them and you do your test. Uh, why would you see them and what would you do to, to make a diagnosis? Well, you know, it's interesting. We see a tremendous amount of youngsters who complain their heart's beating fast for no apparent reason. And the understanding of this is really very, very simple. There's two kinds of rapid heartbeat. Very simply, there's the normal type of rapid heartbeat that's called sinus tachycardia. Sinus tachycardia occurs any time there's a stimulus. So, for example, if you're running, if you have a fever, if you're frightened, if you're in pain, your heart speeds up. That is called sinus tachycardia, and that's a normal phenomenon that you get when there's a stimulus. Rarely, you can have what's called an abnormal circuit in the heart. It's an electrical short circuit that fires for some unexplained reason and causes a very, very rapid heartbeat, and that's called supraventricular tachycardia. When you come to a cardiologist, our job is to distinguish between those two. And a supraventricular tachycardia, sometimes they're not complaining. It's a baby, and the doctor out of nowhere listens to the kid's heart, and he can't even count the beats. Is that correct? That's right. There's, there's really two presentations of this. One is in an older child that's aware of it. The other, interestingly enough, is a baby who will go to the pediatrician. Mom may say, you know, there have been little episodes where the child is a little pale and a little sweaty. In some cases, it's just something the pediatrician picks up on a routine exam where the heart is beating so fast they can't count it. But that is a form of this supraventricular tachycardia. Okay, what would you do as a cardiologist? You refer to the patient to you, and maybe at the time you see the kid, they may not even have an increased heart rate. So you, how would you approach that problem? Usually they don't have an increased heart rate. The history is very, very helpful, and we get a, a fairly good history in the older patient. Anybody from about 10 on up, you can get the history. This, these are the key questions. When you look at a sinus tachycardia, and everybody exercises, you know what happens is your heart starts to beat faster and faster and faster. It's a gradual increase, and then when you stop, it gets slower and slower and slower. That is the way sinus tachycardia works. So what you do is you ask the patient, do you know the moment this starts and the moment it stops? And if the answer is yes, that tends to be a much more of an indication of the supraventricular tachycardia because it's a short circuit. It starts, it stops abruptly. You've got this tachycardia, this rapid heartbeat, you're aware of it, all of a sudden it stops in a second and you feel better. The other thing about it is it's much, much faster than the normal sinus tachycardia. So often you'll say to the patient, does this feel like when you're running, when you're doing exercise? And if they say, no, it's a lot, lot faster than that, that gives you a hint that this is not sinus tachycardia. Once you have gotten that history, you basically have three types of patients. One where it's blatantly obvious that the child is having a normal sinus tachycardia. The extreme where you're fairly confident that you're going to find a supraventricular tachycardia. And there are some kids in the middle where you're just not sure. And that's where the workup begins. What would be